We're going to look at how you can import a video um, if you need to rotate it 90 degrees. Um, the simpler way of just dragging and dropping a video from our, um, I'm open up the video tray, click here. Um, the easiest way again is just to drop a video um, into our video tray and then click and drag that onto a slide in the, um, in the presentation view. So that's the simplest way. But let's say somebody sends you a video and it's portrait. So it's, it's a tall, narrow video and you need to rotate it um, so it'll fit in the window and not be a sideways person looking at you. Um, because ProPresenter by default, if you were to film a video in portrait, when you open it up, it will be lopped over on its side as if it was tipped over. Um, so here's how we insert a video and then rotate it 90 degrees. All right, so we find the spot, we wanna drop it. Um, and so we're just gonna drop it here on this slide during the LT prayer, let's say. Um, we go into the editor, so we can edit the slides. We go to the middle slide where we intend to put our video. Um, and to import it, we go to, um, up here on the top, you got add video to slide. We're gonna click that and import it as a video element. Let's drop in this video, sure, why and this was filmed uh, landscape, so that's fine. Um, we'll still rotate it anyway. So we'll select and we'll import it. Uh, and it imports, well, it's upside down, so there's that. Um, so the first thing, we're gonna make sure we get this to the correct size. Um, what's nice is if you drag one of the corners, it won't stretch out the video. It'll just kind of make it fit in the rectangle as best it can. So what I'm gonna do is, well, first of all, I'm gonna get rid of this tray down here. There's a lot of stuff in the way so I can see better. Just click on video image and that gets rid of all that bottom stuff. Um, what I'll do is I'll just kind of put this up in the corner and drag until it's roughly filling the screen. Notice if I go all the way down, it's not helpful. If I just go to the right, it's not helpful either. But if you kind of go diagonal, you can just you know, make it so it fills the screen correctly the way you want it to. It's upside down. To rotate the video, um, in the other video uh, of how to do this, there's a flip horizontal and flip vertical option, which we could use the flip vertical here. But if we need to rotate 90 degrees, and we go on the right-hand side, we've got these different kind of little sub-menus. There's font and all sorts of stuff. We're gonna to go to the object, and there's angle. Currently, it's at a zero-degree angle. It's default the way it came in. You can use this to rotate 90 degrees, or you could type in 90, because that's gonna be annoying to try to get that perfect. Um, so you can rotate 90 degrees. You can rotate 180. So a vertical flip, you could even rotate 270. You can rotate any, any amount. And that's how you can import a video uh, and then change the angle. And once the angle is where you like it, you can leave the editor and here you've got your video ready to go. And again, you'll wanna put in your go to next timer by hitting right click, go to next timer and put that at zero seconds. So when the video ends, it should jump to the next uh, slide. You're also gonna to wanna to put on the queue, um, the stage layout queue. So stage display is set to uh, slides and that makes sure that whatever people see up on the front screen is what you can see on the back screen so everyone's on the same page. Um, and that is how you import a video and rotate it 90 degrees or whatever number of degrees you need.